Grant. Well, hello, Sunshine. It's me, Stacey N.C. Grant, celebrity guest correspondent for the Network Journal's 2014 25 Most Influential Black Women in Business. And I'm joined by the beautiful Lori N. Robinson Hayden. She is the Senior Vice President and Corporate Counsel for CBS Corporation. It's so much in the title, she's so amazing. But we are so thrilled to congratulate you on being recognized as the 25 most influential black women in business. I love your story about the influence we have as parents on our children. It was your father who was an attorney that had you earn money by writing briefs and doing legal work for him and that inspired your love for the legal profession. Tell us how that journey progressed. It's a very interesting journey. My father, he was a labor and employment lawyer, and he would prepare briefs, and he would leave in the morning with his briefcase, and I would have an image of him leaving, going to work on a court case or a court matter. And then when I was a teenager, he would let me earn extra money by typing up his briefs and typing up his forms. He didn't pay me as much as I <laughs> should have received, but I was glad to get something. And then my first year, I went off to law school at Indiana uh, University School of Law at Bloomington. My father, he passed away during my first year, but I'm blessed that he saw me off to law school. And though I went to law school to become an environmental lawyer, it was an internship later at the National Football League that ended up putting me on the same career path as he doing labor and employment law. So I think that that is a blessing. That is a huge blessing and the fact that we know that he was watching and just so proud because we have to be careful about the seeds that we plant in our young people. And there'll be folks watching TNJ.com looking at these 25 most influential women and wondering what they can do to inspire a young girl who has a desire to learn more about law and to really go for a career in there's so many different layers in the legal profession. Yeah. So tell us a little bit more about what you do and the fact that you actually started a group to help solidify those who want to get their foot in the door and start on the pathway. Well, you said it right on. I mean, with respect to the law, there's so many layers of the law that you can practice and you can do labor, employment, litigation, patent. It's kind of like the medical profession. If you have an injury to your nose, you'd go see an ear, throat, and nose doctor. If you had an issue with your heart, you'd go see a heart surgeon. Mm -hmm. So even though it's medicine, there are people that have different specialties, and that's the same with the law. There's so many specialties. And Corporate Council Women of Color, that's a labor of love. That's an organization that started in 2004, as I would say, in the kitchen of my Harlem apartment back in 2004 with 10 people, and today grew to over 3,000 members. But we focus on career strategies for success. Uh, this year, we're going to be tackling the issue of pay disparity for women of color who are in-house. Studies show that they make 25 percent less than Caucasian men and Caucasian women, and we're going to do a negotiation seminar simulation at our next conference to give them the strategies on how to ask for more. Wow, that is amazing. And clearly we can see why you've been selected as one of our 25 most influential women in business. We thank you for the work that you're doing. You. We salute you for opening doors for so many other black women who are going into the law profession to understand what's available for them. So if you had one last thing you wanted to share to someone watching and looking at you as an example of success, what would you tell them your secret sauce is? Put God first. Uh, you know, when I think about the legal profession, uh, you can do as many cases as you want, but if you're not giving back to the community, to me, all those cases mean nothing. So help those who are behind you. Remember the people who came in front of you and the shoulders that you stand on, and just keep striving for great heights. Excellent. Well, thank you so much again. This is Stacey N.C. Grant signing off with our beautiful honoree. And we'll be back with more from TNJ's 25 Most Influential Black Women in Business 2014.